Boys, the strongest battlegrounds is a really big game. It's been developed over the course of many months. And as a result, the developers have added a lot of things that most players probably don't even recognize. But today, I'm going to shine a spotlight on those things and share with you the top 20 things that you missed in the strongest battlegrounds. Let's do this. Starting off with number one, which was actually added pretty recently. And I'll just show it to you. So as you can see, I can actually hit a dummy into a tree. And look, all of these particles will fall down from the tree afterwards. It's a really small addition, but as you can see, it just adds some flair to the game. And most people don't even realize that it exists. All right, coming in at number two is an absolute crowd favorite. And it has to do with none other than Gojo. Let me know if you see anything strange with this footage. Still not seeing it? Well, let me show you what's different. See, with Saitama's M1s, as you can see, they're pretty fluent. But if you look at Gojo's M1s, they're like significantly faster at certain points. Like they sort of like speed forward halfway through. I don't know. I just thought that that was a pretty cool addition. But yeah, moving on to our third item on this list is something that the developers actually didn't mean to add to the game. Let me show you. So basically, if I fly above the map and I come over here, you'll begin to actually see something down here. And if we actually come down to it, you can see that it's Genos arms. Yeah, as you can see, literally his arms are just chilling out here, along with whatever this is, this like wind particle thing. So yeah, it's pretty interesting that these are out here. Let me know in the comments why you guys think that these are here. All right, next up, coming in at number four on our list is a pretty small feature, but it's a beautiful feature. As you can see, I'm in a private server right now. And if I go to duels, as you can see, I'm in duels right now. And then I go up to exit duels in the top left. As you can see, whenever it teleports me back, it's actually going to put me back in my private server, which is pretty awesome, which I don't know why, but I just I, I love that feature so much. It's small quality of life things like that. But you know what's not a small feature? Number five on our list, but it's still one that so many people miss. I'm about to blow your mind. Watch this M1 and then boom, I can dash instantly and it hits them back. Did you know that you could do that? Like we all know that you can like just hold M1s and then your opponent goes backwards. We all know that you can uppercut an opponent and we all know that you can down slam an opponent, but hardly anyone is aware that you can actually push your opponent backwards. So yeah, all that you have to do is just do three M1s and then instantly dash after your third M1 and they go flying backwards. Just be careful not to wait too long or you'll just dash past them like that. But that feature is so useful, especially if you're playing in a team because you can push the dummy back to your opponent. All right, next up, number six on our list actually has to do with a move, specifically a move for Hero Hunter. And you might've actually heard of this because it went viral a couple months back. This is called the Webby Smash. And it definitely takes a couple tries to get it right, but once you get it right, you go flying into the air. But what you do midair is what makes this so overpowered. Here, let me see if I can get a webby smash real quick. So basically, you have to use lethal whirlwind stream on a dummy, and then you do that. You have to time it correctly so that you hit the rail with the dummy, like, as it starts spinning. It's hard to explain, but I made a whole tutorial on it, if you want to go check it out. But as you saw there, I actually did a variant of lethal whirlwind stream, and I chucked the opponent at the ground. And as you saw, that did 28% of the opponent's health. For reference, the default lethal whirlwind stream only does 18%. So this move is insanely overpowered. And if you can get really good at webby smashes, it can be the perfect finisher to any hero hunter combo. All right, so moving on to number seven. And I am almost positive that you didn't know that this was in the game. But to get to it, we actually have to fly pretty far. So yeah, I just got to fly over to it real quick. And when I said that this was really far out, I meant it. It's going to take quite a few minutes of flying. All right, I'm starting to see it just barely in the distance. All right, here we go. I made it. Just for reference, friends, we're so far away from the map now that you literally cannot see the map anywhere. But yeah, now that we're here, I can actually show you what's inside of this box. But since I can't actually get my character in there, I'm going to use something that you might not have known were in private servers. And this is actually our eighth item on the list, which is free cam. If you're in a private server, whether you own it or not, if you use the keybind shift P, then you actually go into free cam. And most people don't know that this exists. But yeah, without further ado, let's go back to our seventh item on the list, which is that the death counter cutscene is actually inside this box. Yep, I bet you didn't see that coming. Look at this. So every time that you get death countered, you're actually getting teleported thousands and thousands of studs away from the map. And it puts you in this box. And yeah, you can actually like stand on top of the box and stuff. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And most people have no clue that this is out here. So yeah, now that we're back in the main map, I can tell you about the ninth item on our list, which is the fact that Atomic Samurai actually has a hidden ability. Now I made a whole video on this if you want to go check it out, but I'll quickly cover it in this video. So basically, if you get a kill with the first first or second move of Atomic Samurai, then look, you actually get no cooldown on the other move. So look, I just use that one and then boom, I can use it again. And this also works with the second move. So let me, let me show you real quick. Okay. I'm just going to get a finisher with this. And now watch this. As you can see, I have no cooldown disabled and watch, boom, I can use quick slice, boom, quick slice. And then book, I, I can use quick slice again. It's pretty overpowered. And this makes it super easy to do like combos and stuff. Because for example, I'm able to use like pinpoint cut and then chase them forward, maybe hit some M1s and then 
do a quick slice and then do a pinpoint cut again and then hit them forward dash to the side you know maybe do atmos cleave into the air like the possibilities are endless for combos that was a really bad combo but you get the gist and yeah that is a super overpowered ability all right so that brings us on to our 10th item on the list which once again brings us back to a crowd favorite gojo so as i'm sure you're aware if you use like red on a trash can or something it blows it up same thing for a race as you can see the trash can got annihilated i don't even know where it went and same thing for attract as you can see it just sucks up the trash can and it's gone forever but there's one move for gojo that trash cans can sustain and it is the original blue move as you can see trash cans are completely invincible to that gojo move now just for reference if you did this on a player um yeah it, it, it would not have similar results now just for reference if you did this on a player you would not have similar results for sure um yeah they the, the player would be a little bit dead but i guess trash cans are stronger than players or something because this is the one gojo move that cannot destroy any scenery in the entire map the more you know and speaking of the more you know there's something that you should know before you use genos and it's actually the 11th item on our list and i'll just show it to you watch this if i use blitz shot look what it's gonna do did you see it watch 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 again that's not where i aimed here here, here. one more time as you can see it actually curved this is because blitz shot will actually curve to hit opponents rather your opponent is a tree or a player blitz shot actually curves to hit the opponent i guess this is for like mobile players maybe to make it like easier to hit opponents or something i don't know but it's pretty interesting and a lot of players actually do not like this but you'll have to let me know what you think of it in the comments down below anyways that brings us on to our 12th item on the list and this actually has to do with the duels lobby so let me quickly teleport over there to show you guys and this is something that pretty much nobody notices but it needs to be fixed because when you do notice it it's terrible and it's the fact that there's no settings menu in the duels lobby look look it's gone there's there's no settings menu at all and let's say that you win a 1v1 or something and you're teleported back to the ranked lobby and you had like bet on a game pass or something like whoever wins gets a game pass yeah you can't you you can't gift game passes you'll have to go back to the primary game gift them and then come back so yeah hopefully they'll fix this soon and add game pass gifting and settings and all the things to the duels lobby so yeah i think that we can all agree that that is not a very good thing but i think that we can also all agree that this next one is a good thing and it has to do with the fly command you see if you're flying and you press shift you actually fly faster see without shift and then this is with shift with without with without there's a pretty noticeable difference and i literally never see people using this one flying so now you know all right so our 14th item on our list actually requires two players and it has to do with hero hunter basically you can actually praise peril praise peril let me show you what i mean so my friend here is going to use praise peril on this attacking dummy and then while he's using praise peril i can actually come in and i can use praise peril and praise peril both of them that's a lot of praise peril but it will make more sense whenever i show you okay so here we go he's using praise peril and then i can actually come in and use Use praise peril on his praise peril anyways that's enough praise peril for today let's move on to our 15th item on our list which is that if two players use metal bats third move at the same time they actually intersect midair and one of them actually wins let me show you okay here we go whenever i say go we're both gonna activate the third move at the same time three two one go and boom, as you can see, I actually hit him in the middle of the air and I hit him down. All right, I'll show you guys that one more time. All right, when I say go, three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, bro, that was crazy. So yeah, next time that you're fighting another metal bat, be sure to try that out. All right, so let's move on to our 16th item on the list, which is once again going to require us to switch over to Hero Hunter, which for this, I'm gonna be using Hero Hunter, but you can actually do this with any of the characters in the game. So yeah, what you have to do for this is you have to enable no stun. Then it's as simple as pressing give awakening and then pressing G, and then just pressing give awakening again and press G and just keep spamming this repeatedly. I'll only do it for a couple seconds so that I don't crash my game completely but as you can see, whenever I actually finish doing that, uh, you can see something pretty crazy is gonna happen to the game. Yeah, my, my game is just, just a little bit frozen. I'm, I'm not getting the best frames per second right now, actually. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, it's, it's gonna do this, whatever you call this. And, uh, after a couple seconds, I should be able to see again. Hang on, give it just a second. Okay, here we go. Boom. As you can see, it did this. Whatever you call this. And this actually looks pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, my effects are completely bugged on my character. And yeah, once again, you can do this 
this with any character. So let me just do it with Genos real quick, just to prove the point. So as you can see, it's gonna do this. There's gonna be like 40 times more effects and it's gonna look like that. And then you get all these moves at the bottom of your screen too. Anyways, this brings us on to our 17th item on the list, which once again has to do with Garu. So if I actually activate my awakening again, look at this. As you can see, I'm actually running faster now. So yeah, whenever you're using Garu's ultimate, you actually have a speed boost. It's not super noticeable, but it's really helpful if you're trying to catch runners. And a lot of people actually don't know that this is in the game. So now you know, and you have some knowledge that your opponents don't. Anyways, this brings us on to our 18th item on the list, which actually has to do with finishers only. As you can see, normally whenever I do 4M1s, it does 14% of my opponent's health. But when I enable finishers only, all of that changes. As you can see, rather than 14%, it does 2%. And it continues doing 2%. In fact, that time it did 1% for 4M1s. It's pretty crazy how many times you have to hit the opponent before you actually kill them. So yeah, I definitely would not suggest using M1 whenever finishers only is enabled. But yeah, this brings us on to our 19th item on the list. And to demonstrate this one, I've actually got to get a friend in here. All right, so right here, I've got my friend. And as you can see, he's in a super, super small body package. And he pretty much blends in with the ground too. So this avatar is a little bit pay to win. But as you can see, if I go up into my settings, I can actually press remove packages. And just like that, it actually converts his body on my screen back to its original state. And now I can actually, uh, I can actually see it and I can actually like destroy him. Anyways, this brings us on to our 20th and final item on our list. And this one is that a lot of people miss that they're not subscribed to my channel. So if you haven't already, or even if you think you are, make sure to check down below to make sure that you don't miss it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.